Hi, I'm Larry Richardson, your step-by-step -step chef. In this episode, we're going to make a ham and egg scramble breakfast burrito. It has ham, egg, vegetables, cheese, and a lot of other great ingredients in it. I think you're going to like this one. So come on, let's cook. The ingredients for our ham, egg, and cheese breakfast burrito are, of course, first of all, ham. I like to use ham steak. Apparently someone else in my house likes the ham steak too because there's a piece missing. But anyways, we're going to use a half a cup of ham. We're going to use four eggs, which we'll scramble up. We're going to use half a cup of cheese, a quarter cup of diced onion, quarter cup of diced red pepper. If you can only get green bell pepper, that's fine too. We're going to use one jalapeno. Now that is completely optional. If you don't like heat in your food, then do not add this. We need one teaspoon of butter to coat the bottom of the pan. We're going to use some preheated refried beans and of course tortillas. These are flour tortillas. You can use corn if you wish. So now let me show you how to make it. The first thing we're going to do is dice our ham steak. And for this one I like it in kind of small pieces because it's going to be scrambled in with egg and big chunky pieces will be just a little bit too chewy. So I do cut this on the small side. And again, we're going for half a cup of ham steak. And we need to cut all of this to get to our half a cup. Okay, let's set that aside. We'll do our quarter cup of red pepper next. Again, if green bell pepper is all you have in your area, that's fine. And again, cut it kind of small for this recipe. We don't want big chunks because it has to scramble into that egg. Okay. Now let's dice our quarter cup of onion. Score the top of the onion. Now I like to use sweet onion in these dishes. There's just something about it um, that adds some extra fancy flavor to these different dishes we're making. Go. Now I'm just going right down the face with the knife and it's cutting it into very small pieces. It's giving us some nice minced onion. There we go. Now let's dice our jalapeno. Put a glove on to keep the heat off my fingers. Let's take this core out and the seeds. Again, if you don't like heat, don't put this in there. There's no penalty for leaving out the jalapeno. And again, nice little pieces. Now I can tell just by the um, aroma of this jalapeno that it is going to make it a very spicy hot dish. Um, you can add a lot less than this if you decide to go to help the jalapeno route. I like it hot. Okay, and that does it for our vegetable chopping. Now this scramble dish cooks up very quickly. So what I want to do is toast my tortilla while I'm scrambling the egg 
and ham, ham and vegetable mixture. So what I'll do is take this pan that's been preheated to just below medium and put the tortilla in it. And as the tortilla toasts, I want to take my tongs and flip it occasionally so it doesn't burn on one side. We just want it to be browned. And now we'll scramble up the mix. First thing I want to do is take our teaspoon of butter. Oops, kind of melted on me in the old studio. And just spread it over the bottom of the pan. You just don't want the eggs to stick. I know it's a no-stick pan, but honestly, these things do stick even to this Teflon. So get it nice and spread out. And then put the ham and vegetable mix into it. And this pan has been preheated over medium heat for about five minutes. That's why it's cooking right away. And what we're looking for in this sautéing process is for the egg to turn slightly, I mean the onion to turn slightly clear. That tells us that it's being sautéed through. And at that point, we'll crack our egg mixture right into it. Now what we're doing here is we're sauteing the vegetables. We don't want them to be hard and crunchy in our scrambler. So what we're doing is we're just going to keep stirring it around a little bit and then when the onions start to look clear that means we have a nice saute going. And at that point we can crack the eggs into this mixture. And three to five minutes later, three in this case, we have a very nice saute. The jalapenos, the peppers, and the onions have a slight translucence to them. We don't want them to completely melt down and we don't want them to brown, so now's a good time to add the egg. Now if you don't feel comfortable adding the eggs right into the pan, because you think you might end up with shells all over the place, then you can certainly crack the eggs into a bowl and scramble them ahead of time. And then just pour the egg mixture right into the pan. I'm being bold today, and hopefully it won't end up with someone crunching on egg while they're having their breakfast. Although if it's the person who stole that bite of ham last night, I, I'm not gonna worry too much about them. They're getting their just desserts. And now what I'm going to do is just scramble this egg right into it. And again, this is, this is over just under medium heat. And we want to get the egg nice and dry. Mmm, love this dish. You know, this is one of those dishes that you can really um, make your own, too. Maybe you don't like ham, maybe you don't have ham in your house, but you have some steak in the house. Maybe you don't want meat at all and you just want it to be a veggie dish. Or maybe you don't want the veggies in it and you just want it to be a meat and egg dish. It's just so cool the number of things you can do with these scrambles. Keep on scraping that bottom. Don't want the egg to burn to the pan. And again, our objective is to get this nice and dry. And this is a process that also takes probably around three to five minutes, depending on your stove. Again, you don't want to burn the egg, so you have to keep it moving. You can see it's drying out nicely. Mmm, yum.
And that's right where I want it. Now I'm going to take it off the heat. And here's all of our ingredients ready to roll. Now I did heat up these refried beans in my microwave so they're nice and hot. We have our um, ham and egg scramble over here. Now if you want, you don't have to serve this burrito style. You can just have the ham and egg um, scramble with toast. Have it any way you want. But I like this burrito style. I, I think it's very tasty. So what I'll do is I'll take some of the ham and egg mix Put that on one side of the uh, crisp tortilla, the toasted tortilla shell. And then I want to put down the refried beans on the other half. And again, this is, you know, another optional ingredient. You don't really have to add refrieds, but I think it makes it very authentic tasting. And then we'll just put some of the cheese on top. Mmm. That is going to be delicious. Well, look at you. Congratulations, you've made your ham and egg scramble breakfast burrito. Now, if you visit my website, you'll find a printable recipe for this dish. And you're also going to find dozens of other delicious dishes. You'll find recipes and videos for every one of them, which will show you in detail how to make them. So please go to StepbyStepChef.com and share it with your friends. I'm Larry Richardson. I'll see you next time.